The June Hong Kong International Numismatics Fair saw the Heritage Platinum Session Auctions deliver some spectacular Chinese coins worth almost $9.5 million at Final Hammer. It may be a little difficult to convey just with a photo, but what we have here is not just a simple Qing Dynasty cash coin. This is what is known as an ancestor coin. I suppose you could call it an engraved master of sorts. This was the original hand-carved progenitor of the series, presented to the emperor for approval. A mold would then be made of this piece, from which the mother coins would be cast. The mother coins would in turn then be used to create a mold for the circulating coins. But it all starts with the creation of this handmade ancestor coin. And they are exceedingly rare, as you can well imagine. This example was certified as an enviable 90 by China's Gongbo Grading Service, and at auction it sold for $93,000. Chinese coins have become renowned for their annual lunar series, and at the very pinnacle of that series are these large-sized 1 kilogram gold coins. This scalloped example from the 2006 Year of the Dog issue has a mintage of only 15 coins, of which this was number 11, with an obvious design reminiscent of the Mogu-style paintings of Liu Qiuling. The coin was slabbed by NGC with a grade of Proof 68 Ultra Cameo. By auction's close, it sold for $180,000. At first glance, you might be forgiven for seeing a simple 50 cent or 3 mace and 6 candarines coin from the late imperial era. However, closer examination quickly reveals this coin to be the exceedingly rare 1898 Hunan province specimen of this denomination, with only 6 examples produced at the Heaton Mint shortly before the closure of the Changsha Mint due to the outbreak of the Boxer Rebellion. The existence of this coin, along with its dollar counterpart, remained unknown to collectors until 1974, when the dyes and related documents were discovered by Richard Wright in the Heaton Mint reference collection. This example was graded by NGC as SP65 and sold at auction for $204,000. Before the Hong Kong Mint started issuing dollar coins for circulation in 1866, a number of trial pieces were first struck at the London Royal Mint in 1865. Now remember that Hong Kong was still very much a British colonial territory at this time. Following the secession of the territory to Great Britain during the First Opium Wars in the 1840s, hence the youthful portrait of Queen Victoria on the obverse. Slapped by NGC, the coin has a grade of proof 65 and managed to secure a closing price at auction of $240,000. Another very well-known Chinese coin is the so-called automobile dollar. Now, this coin was struck in 1928 at the very height of China's turbulent warlord period, officially to celebrate the completion of the Guizhou Provincial Highway Project, reportedly the first major modern roadway in the landlocked province. As noble as that sounds, the true genesis of this coin is not quite as homogenous in nature or intent. Instead, rooted in corruption and avarice at virtually every level, a vanity project of a corrupt warlord with no true regard for the people he rules over. Graded by NGC as MS-62, it sold at auction for $336,000. Coins with the dragon and phoenix design, based off of a now defunct design of the Chinese national emblem, are very popular. The silver dollar coins are, while still rare, at least obtainable to a degree. The gold $20 though is practically an urban myth, struck in gold by the Shandong province at the behest of its infamous provincial warlord Zhang Xiongshang. This 1924 coin was graded by NGC as MS-64 star and at auction was able to attain a closing price of $372,000. It's somewhat of an understatement to say that Yuan Shikai was 
a bit of a divisive figure in Chinese history, rising through the ranks of the military to become a general, then switching to politics to become a provincial governor, then a senior member of the imperial cabinet. When he fell out of favor with the emperor, though, he became a leader in the Wuchang uprising, which ultimately brought an end to more than 4,000 years of dynastic and imperial rule in China, after becoming the second president of the first Chinese Republic, then declaring himself as the emperor of the new Chinese Empire, a move that would ultimately prove unwise in the end. It only lasted three months, but we did get this plumed hat patent dollar coin out of the deal. Today, graded by NGC as MS-62, it sold at auction for $312,000. Now, before his short-lived imperial fantasy came crashing down on him, Yuan Shikai did serve as the second president of the first Chinese Republic. Well, maybe serve isn't quite the right word, as his tenure is rife with stories of bribery and intimidation. In 1914, he dissolved the parliament, effectively becoming a dictator in all but name, and setting the stage for the period of warlordism that would lead this once great nation down a dark road over the next several decades that were to follow. But back to the coins. This 1914 Yuan Shikai profile dollar, or what is sometimes somewhat derogatively known as the fat man dollar, more specifically, though, this is a very rare pattern of that same coin that bears chief engraver Luigi Giorgi's name. The detail omitted from the circulation strike coins, graded by NGC as SP63, it was sold at auction for $408,000. Now, Italian engraver Luigi Giorgi's time at the China's central Tianjin Mint was a period of transition spanning from the last days of the Qing dynasty to the beginning of China's first Republican era, and the coins he designed remain some of the most sought after in Chinese numismatics to this very day. At the very top of that list, surely has to be this elusive and much fabled long whiskered dragon dollar pattern coin. This example is of the rounded petals and raised veins variety. Although, to be fair, this aspect is not entirely, but broadly glossed over by most collectors in favor of acquiring a specimen, any specimen of this design, much like the more minor varieties of the Una and the Lion coin as well. At auction, it was sold slabbed by NGC as SP63 for the sum of $690,000. Subscribe to WNN and hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in future. For the world numismatic news, I am Numisman Singh. Thank you for watching. Keep collecting and have a fantastic day.